On my way home the other day, I observed and was fascinated by how just three color of lights kept order on the entire road. And yes, for the most part, we obey these signs because of what the consequences might entail. We don't want to get hurt or hurt others. We don't want to bear the cost of a damaged vehicle. And of course, no one likes tickets and fines. And even without the 24-7 supervision by authorities, these signs are still largely obeyed. But I want to introduce to you spiritual signs. You see, as real as that red light is at the intersection, they are red lights in the spirit, and they are just as real. God always tries to communicate to us through signs, but we don't always obey because the consequences are not as immediate as the physical traffic signals. Consider for a moment spiritual accidents. They occur when God says stop, but we march ahead, or when he says go, and we stall. Some of us have been in quite a few. I tell you, the consequences sometimes are lasting. So when next you see a red light, yellow light, or green light at the traffic stop, remember that these signs also exist in the spirit, and I'll urge you to obey them, just as you would in the physical.